Hello, we return. I, I have brought this party back. Get this party started. So oh, it's a Friday now. night. <laughs> I think in the song it's a Saturday night. It so is. We fail. Yeah, it's the wrong we night. We fail at pop culture reference. That's <laughs> like thirty years old. <laughs> God, imagine like when like we're the age of like our parents talking about listening to like Tony Bennett or something, and but it's like mm -hmm. Pink and Lady Gaga. Yep. <laughs> the different world. Yes, Peter has indeed been turned into a set of headphones. Uh, those are the 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 dark headphones of. I don't know. I don't know. Barack a Obama. shadow approaches. They have been. <laughs> they have uh, absorbed uh, Copernicus, as <laughs> as one would expect. He back. Um, oh no! He managed to escape. I'm back. Yay! Excellent. Where? What was the theory for where I was? Uh, I just said that your your dark demonic headphones had absorbed you, as would be uh, appropriate yes. for yeah. for your character. No, you so, spat back out. When we left our heroes, they were. Um, preparing to uh, bluff their way out of the city. Uh, Tromlin has disguised the party. I was going to get everyone to kind of give me a bit of some flavor here as to exactly how you are disguised. Because we were just joking about wearing buckets and other, other such... I think oh, that was a joke. Classes. We did this vaguely, didn't we? Because I, I was like, I'm, I'm doing the man in black thing where it's like the big poncho oh, and the yes, big hat. Yes, we did that part already. Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like, like a Disney... Every, I mean, dressed as extras. I pass. You're all dressed as extras from the Three Amigos. Yeah. Okay. So, Generic and, Western Tufts. Mm -hmm. uh, and you are going to... And I'm assuming you're going to take the effort to uh, disguise Inigo as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he was with you guys in that whole kerfuffle? Um, that'd good. be a 19 total. Hmm. Excellent. Pretty still, I think the lowest roll is still a 15 for anybody. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you uh, make your way to the to the gates, and let's see how fate wishes to treat you. I'm going to roll to determine if Captain Demetrio is at hand or any of the guards who were involved. Um. So the Capitan is not at hand when you come to the gates. Um, there isn't a lot of traffic at this time of night. Uh, there is, however, um, a doubled guard. There, there are more guards here than there were when you guys um, snuck into the city. And you do recognize a couple of the guards milling around here are um, guardsmen that you recognize. One of them was one of the Lancers. And one of them was one of the guards that uh, was coming in to clear the um, uh, the the market when you guys were uh, fleeing. I have a question. Does distracting intrusion, is it usable outside of combat, and does it draw attention to the fact that you've done it? Or can I do like a distraction kind of thing on the guard, it, specifically the lancer? Yeah, it can be used outside of combat, but it's 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 not obvious that you're doing it specifically. But it becomes very obvious. It's, it's obvious that it's being done. Okay. Like so I'll be drawing attention to myself, which wouldn't really help. Horrendous voices uh, come into the person's head, and it, oh. it has to be done while you're talking to them. So it's kind of a little suspicious. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in the back po back pocket, but I will try not to use it. It doesn't sound like it will be as helpful as I would like it to be. All right, I guess oh, we just hand it up. But before we go through, last time they made us like make up names and like name everyone, and just we should be uh, going out. It's probably less strenuous, but just in case, just have a list of fake bounty hunter yes. names ready. Good. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Um, including, do, do you do you instruct your? Um, yes. Your entourage. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Which I'm just gonna write down here. It consists of Gonzalez and three other Ratkin, so a total of four Ratkin uh, guides. Inigo the Ranger and Fezic the the Porter with the strong back. Um, these Ratkin are not particularly small either. They're all short, like all Ratkin, but they're all fairly, um, you know, they're they're like laborers. 
Mm. Uh, Burly so rats. They're, they're, yeah, they're basically prepared to be uh, helping in terms of portage. Okay, so you're going to hand over this uh, this forgery, this letter. Yep. That you have made. Which I believe uh, there was like a 24 is what I wrote down 26. here. 26. 26. Right, sorry, it was 26. I just I could not read my own writing. Um, uh, so I'm going to roll to see if oh, no. this forgery is seen through. I am Frog uh, the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Okay, we're, we're, stop we're, we're gonna modify your disguise now oh, because you got food, like just a giant mullet. Good. So you still got the poncho, but like instead of just a big hat, you have like the mullet, the sunglasses, mm -hmm. big sunglasses. I think you were last spotted yelling that you were the frog queen and then jumping into the sky. Yes. This is this is such a good pun, but in terms of like proximity from your last appearance. <laughs> Look, I got a theme. I'm leaning into it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm Toad, the bounty hunter. The Toad Warrior? Good. Yes. Uh, I'll be Toad Warrior. Tarny's like a little bit warty and wrinkled, and I'll definitely be Toad Warrior. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you're like, no, it's Frog. Like, F-R-A-U-G-H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Frog. Frog. <laughs> All right. So you, uh, yeah, you, you, you're going to need to bluff your way here now, I think. Oh, shit. So the guards, um, the guard takes your, uh, your document <coughs> and looks it over, um, looks a little surprised and, um, and says, but, but, okay, very well. I, I guess you are being commissioned to join in this hunt. Um, uh, let us uh, go through your baggage and uh, you can be on your way. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing really there that's going to shock them. I mean, probably nothing on the mules, but they want to search you. Right. And I do yeah. have an owlbear under my cloak. That's a fair mm -hmm. point. <laughs> Um, if I banish Trey, um, does he reappear in, in the same spot even if he's being carried by someone who moved? Because on the boat, when when things are riding the boat, we agreed that they'd reappear in the boat in their space. I would argue it would be the same. Right. Yeah. There's okay. a conservation of momentum. Then mm -hmm. I think. So I think we have like sixty seconds. Then I think um, so. To be like, I'm fine. Look, nothing here. Okay, bye. Or, or I could do invisibility <laughs> where he's still there, but. And he makes noise, but he's not. Mm. <laughs> Either one. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna... I mean, there's other options too, right? Like you could try and bribe your way through, or you could try and talk your way through. No, this owl. This is a. This is a. A, a tracker. This is a, a blood owl bear. It uh, <laughs> it will track the scent. Don't don't let him smell you. <laughs> what do you think, Tramlin? How much lying do you feel like doing? <laughs> What, what what do you want to? I've which got a plus to go the with? deception. I'm always happy to lie. All right. Let's, and I'll if I talk to him for about out. a minute, I can do charm speech. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Okay. Then I'll um uh um. Oh. I wonder if we can stall for time then. <laughs> oh. Uh, so I will try to persuade him so that is not only unnecessary but will anger the captain more. Because the captain's already delayed too much. Huh? Like, 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 if you're delayed too much, like you're basically yeah. saying, yeah. But right, I'll go tell the captain that you're the reason we didn't get out. It's also not like we're bringing weapons into the city. Not your problem anymore. Yeah, for sure. All right, make me a a persuasion roll. Twenty-one. Uh, not my best, but average. You know what? I, okay, so you wouldn't make that, but. Hold on, I'm giving you an advantage. Sorry? What? Can I do a distracting intrusion? No, no <laughs> I'm giving Tromlin advantage. Okay. Um, as you have so delighted uh, your patron Dolos today <laughs> that oh, he is going to give you advantage on this lie. <laughs> Daddy Dolos! <laughs> Daddy Dolos? 
Well, that'll be a 28. <laughs> that'll do it. Good. Like, My total after is I'm totally like, fine, 23. You know we'll go back and tell Capitan that you, specifically you, said that we had to wait and we could not execute his orders the way he wanted. Oh, oh no, 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 senor. I, I can, I assure you, I, I, a quick, a quick check only. Uh, yes, this looks good. Uh, these are bags of food. Trail's going uh, cold, ropes, son. Of course, um, ropes for tying up, uh, you know, the, the dangerous banditos. Yes, of course, uh, as, as you as you must have. Uh, um, maybe I'm going to get um, some stealth rolls from people trying to keep them from, like, noticing it. So, so, for example, I imagine Copernicus does not want one of the guards to examine his bucket. All right. I do not. That's true. That he only tries to do it once, though, if he does. <laughs> <laughs> it just eats it, it him. He's just gone. Yeah, it wouldn't go yeah. well for the guard, but it would also then lead to issues. You know, we should be using the bucket, like, we're, like, running in a room, just, like, open the lid, aim at people. <laughs> <laughs> like a flashbang grenade, but for the soul. Yeah, a Lovecraftian flashbang. <laughs> I'm going to assume Flash that we have. Flash grenade. I'm assuming oh, that we God. have a lot of uh, webcomic fans in the audience, so someone might recall the um, order of the stick uh, use of the symbol of insanity on the rubber bouncy ball move, which is a a, a classic uh, Rich Burley <laughs> abuse of the spell. That's... First time hearing it, but I love it. Yep. So I got a five. So um, I, this might just turn into a little prank where he looks in the bucket and then the bucket vanishes. <laughs> no one knows what he's going on about. Mm -mm. Wouldn't be the first time tonight. Uh, well, this is more, I just want stealth rolls. So you rolled a five and then your stealth bonus makes that one uh, total? I rolled a two, which makes it a five. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Okay. Not spending inspiration. This is this is too funny. I want to get everybody else to roll too, though, because it's okay. just generally like keeping them from looking at anything suspicious. Uh, I have a ten. Dirty twenty. Wow, that's surprising. For yeah. Edna. Uh, I'm Seventeen. Gonna, I'm not even with with an invisible tray. I'm not going to give you any uh, penalties on on that cool. twenty. So Tromlin and Ugna, you get very cursory checked, and they're like, "Yep, everything's fine," despite the invisible owl bear under your shirt. <laughs> um, you, you basically convince them that you're just happy to see him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, uh, Fetid, was that a total of ten? A total of ten. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. Um, so uh, the uh, the question is asked. Uh, by the uh, the guard. Uh, so basically, in Fetid's case, uh, the guard notices your bag that currently contains filth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Copernicus, one of the guards, notices the bucket hanging. And um, uh, the guard leader here basically says, uh, uh, Senor, i uh, I must. I must ask to look inside these these bags as well. Um, I can let you look inside the bucket. Um, it's used specifically to uh, produce stunning and horrifying visions inside the mind of someone who gazes inside it to prevent them from running away. So again, be my guest, but um, uh, uh, please don't say that I didn't warn you. And I would like witnesses to the fact that you were warned of before. Of course. Oh. I'm gonna actually pull the bucket up. Like, here we go. We can. I can do it. <laughs> he 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 like takes a step back and uh, like slaps one of the like grunt soldiers uh, on oh, his dude. shoulder and it's like, you uh, yeah. check check this uh, check the bucket. Uh, <laughs> he goes. He's like, yes, sir. Um, you open the bucket. Yeah, I'm just gonna like whisper to Barb, like just go easy on him. Not his fault. Uh, <laughs> he he quickly glances into the bucket and then glances away, um, and says, uh, uh, "Nothing, Capitan." And uh, then promptly fails his int save. <laughs> um, 
So he just he just kind of starts going pale and sweating. Nothing particularly ordinary. Uh, meanwhile, the other guard is uh, uh, reaching for the the bag full of uh, pseudo dragon. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forget that drag's name is Filth. I just have the image of you carrying a bag. Yep. Oh, you th- an I mean, bag of filth. Both. Yeah, both. Yep. The yeah. bag contains both filth and filth. And also filth's filth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Can't pseudo dragons turn invisible? That will? I think they... thought no, but I... I think it's the do, imps I... that can turn invisible. Okay, I, I think it's but second edition they, they did. Yeah, maybe they you, can. You, you, I, I, or, I or think fairy now dragons. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I think I'm thinking fairy dragons. I take it back. Yes, sorry. Yes, you're thinking fairy dragons. Right. Well, Pseudo dragons. If, if if you want, I can invisible filth, which would make Trey uninvisible. Um, so I might give like Ugna a little warning, and I can do it on filth inside the bag if I turn on Ooh. X-ray vision. Nice. <laughs> a complicated series of spells. If there's a way I can just use my swarm to distract them enough that we can squeak by. You're like, oh, that's my bag of well, bugs. I'm going to say, you don't have time to really discuss this, so mm-hmm. if Copernicus is going to do that, he can do it. Okay. I'm, he doesn't really, it. I'm assuming you're All not right, going to yeah. openly in front of the guard say, hey, bro, I can funny. do this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, well, I can, like, so I'll just tell Ugna, like, Trey is about to become visible. Okay. Um, and I'll, like, turn away from the guards and pretend and to be looking yeah, at the mountains. I'll, I'll, do Ghost of Gaze and Invisibility on Phil. Okay. Uh, so... And I'll tell... And I'll tell... Uh, I guess I'll tell Fetid as soon as I have a second... After, I know there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. Uh, that, that, like... Phil is invisible. All right. Like, like you say that out loud? No, in the in uh, Perny book. I'm just scribbling notes in my Perny book. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, give me a uh, concentration check. Hmm. Am I going to say the quiet part loud? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Uh, so you're just rolling oh. a straight up constitution save. Okay. That's not a great save for me. 19 and 2 makes 21. Okay. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, yeah. I just got a note from my shadow DM, but it's all good. Um, okay, so you manage to simultaneously uh, cast the spell um, while like juggling. So you're basically trying to do the somatic movements of casting the invisibility spell while juggling your book and writing in it at the same time mm-hmm. to write the note to on the Ugna page, Trace about to come visible, and flip the page, and then on the fetid page, write, uh, I'm, I'm making filth invisible, uh, and casting the spell all at the same time. Um, you managed to pull it off. I'm going to make a, a um, uh, perception check to see if the uh, if any of the guards get suspicious of this crazy juggling act that just occurred. But I, I don't think that's a good enough roll. So, yeah, you're gonna pull it off. So, uh, so uh, fetid, the guard is reaching for the bag that you know your your familiar is in. Um, but you hear Perny's voice in your head suddenly say, I've made filth invisible. All right. I will happily open my bag and present it to the guard. The guard looks in, and initially you think it didn't work, because oh, no. the guard looks in and, and makes like this, ugh, oh, right. face. <laughs> um, and, you know, you kind of like grip your weapon, and then he turns and sort of waves you away. Because okay. he didn't see, uh, he didn't see filth, but he saw the filth. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he so smelled he, it too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. he just came to meeting my extremely large bee friend. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's roll to see how bad the uh, failed int save is getting. Um, <laughs> so the uh, the the guard captain here basically. Uh, at this point, is saying, "Very well. It is uh, everything is in order. I'll, I'll, you may go on your way. Quick, quick. You are um, on an important as, mission." As I uh, uh, I... keep an eye on the one who looked in the bucket, he's going to need some counseling. Mm-hmm. 
Um, as I pass the, the guard who looked in the bucket, can I whisper something to him? Yes, you certainly can. I whisper, you saw it. It saw you. It knows you now. Oh, wow. Great. Good. Uh, he's, his um, uh, little kerchief that he's wearing is part of their outfit. They have their sash and they have like, like they have a kerchief to keep the sun off their neck. Um, the, uh, the strings of it hanging down his, his chest start to curl upwards. Oh, shit. Mm. Like just, just Good job, Barb. In, in the air like that. Well, um, let's get going. <laughs> so, I want to think about that. He starts. He starts <laughs> muttering something that sounds vaguely misogynist under mm-hmm, his breath. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. Good. Nope. Let's leave. Did I hear that? And what did he say? <laughs> Nothing. I, I, I don't want to try and actually think of something that's gone out of yeah. my No. I guess, was it about Barb? I guess. <laughs> no. 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 It's fine. no. Okay. It's just, he's he's getting vaguely possessed by Dilbert. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Low grade Dilbert possession. Yeah. yeah. It's a low grade Dilbert possession. Cool. Yeah. Also known as, as uh, you know, minor, minor incel. <laughs> he's insulted. Yeah, he feels insulted. <laughs> oh, uh, <God. laughs> okay, uh, and you you quickly make your way out uh, onto the onto the roads. Um, the roads leading out uh, from the city of Santo Bianco are uh, well maintained uh roads with um cobbles sunken into the earth uh to keep uh, obviously like mud and filth and stuff builds up on top of the stones but it's uh it gives it a solid uh foundational base you would imagine that uh carts and chariots can actually go quite rapidly uh across these roads Uh, as for traveling i'm going to ask inigo so, are you actually a friend or a fan of Elgato, or is that just to distract? I mean, I don't, uh, I don't have anything against the gentleman. And no one, no one here is a, uh, a a great fan of the church. Um, and he he makes like a sign of Juno to like, you know, ward off any. Any uh, supernatural? Uh, Is there uh, anything rebuttal? we can do while we're when we come back to help your people? Because you're being oppressed. Like it's it's obvious that the church has become corrupted. I don't understand. What would you do? I don't know. That's a good question. But uh, the people are suffering, and it seems wrong to not try. Everybody knows the best way. In our day. The best mm-hmm. way to get uh, to get along uh, in, uh, in any in not, in not in these times, but in any times, is uh, for those who are powerful to not notice. Hmm. It is not like you you can, you know, it is not like life is all bad. Uh, when you live out on your lands and you uh, raise cattle and uh, you know you enjoy life, everything is fine. Every once in a while, the soldiers will come and take things because they're busy fighting something that doesn't matter. But uh, they don't do it every day. Yeah. It's just right now in Santo Bianco, the all of the the armada is. Uh, uh, is fighting and this, the gates are closed. It's it's not a uh, a pleasant uh, time right now. I am yeah. honestly pleased to be doing a work that takes me away from the city. Okay, all right. Many of my friends gone out to the to find work in the smaller towns and villages because it is easier yeah makes sense i'm real bad at math but like 
And that never made sense to me that one or two bad people could make hundreds of other people real scared of them. Uh, welcome to the world. Well, up sometimes. With Amber, I suppose. Yeah, we could we could do that. We could do that after. Well, I'm all for humiliating Capitan Garcia again. <laughs> I mean, he does but that very well by himself. True. <laughs> and that's the thing, you don't want him to vanish because then someone competent might replace him. Mm hmm. Sometimes the devil you know. Yeah. Very well. Um, guess we just travel until it's time to rest. Just pulling up my notes. Um,. Yes, El, El Emperador Real Santo Fernando Augusto the Fifteenth. Hmm. Sparky to his friends. Yeah. Is the, uh, <laughs> Go Emperor Sparky. Yep. Is the uh, uh, also also called uh, 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 I don't know Papa or something along those lines? Because he's the, El Papa, uh, effectively the Pope. Mm. Whatever the um, Spanish would be. Papa Sparky. Yep. Well, I will I try to entertain everyone as we, we ride, telling stories. Because why For not? Sure. Uh, so what's your plan here? Do you want to make a uh, good time? Do you want to take it easy, take it fast? Um, we definitely, I mean, time is of the essence, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm in favor of a... a pretty quick march if, if someone gets exhausted and falls behind we can we yeah. can slow down but well, um you do have uh, a giant chest uh the giant brass chest that is being carried on Udina's back still mm -hmm. um we which... could bust that out and get a demon horse going start doing some um <laughs> empty road tests. Good, so good. this is kind of the, the the question is how how uh how are you balancing between Drawing attention to yourselves and speed. Well, these, are these roads are opposite. closed. No one's coming. No one's coming down this way, and no one's coming out really. So well, I this, think the, these roads are not closed. Right. You're on the south side of the river now. It was oh, a I... road north out of Santo Bianco. It's closed. Oh, I wanted to go north. That's the one that I wanted. So to I thought we were doing. I w thought you said that you wanted to go along the river to that town and cross there. My, my goal is to take the north, if the north gate had the bridge, my goal is to get across the bridge uh, basically right away. I, mean, I thought th I thought we were bluffing our way across the bridge, but if that would have been harder than... That would not have been something you could just bluff, I think. Okay, okay. Fair All right, let's fair go enough. this okay. way then. Uh, isn't it night, though? Not... We, let, we set off at, like, twilight, so now it's it's dark yeah, out. Yeah, it's getting... Yeah, it's, I was going to say the roads are pretty empty because it's, it's basically fairly well into the evening at this stage. Um, Theoretically, a, a demon horse isn't going to be seen by a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do. Let's do some demon horse practice. <laughs> okay. Got to get ten thousand hours of driving in on that demon horse before you really can get your license. Well, that's a good. I'm quickly pull up my map uh, so I can look at the whole thing because I'm just trying to remember. Uh, so along the road. You're going to be going in the neighborhood of a hundred miles till you get to the place where you can cross the river easily. A um, hundred miles, however, on really good roads with um, uh, with the possibility of putting people on the mm -hmm. cart. I'm just trying to figure out how, whether it's multiple days of travel or not. Well, I think I built myself a little calculator for figuring out converting time into demon horse distance. <laughs> In the units of, of demon, demon horse demon power. Horse yeah, demon horse power. There you go. Oh, exactly. Put it? No, I had like a. I'm just trying to find my document where I have like some details on travel times. Um, for the uh, for the the uh, for the streams information, 
I, we recently tried to reorganize all of our files, so now I'm sort of going, okay, where did we put that again? There we go. I think it's in my general campaign notes. This is where I have all of my original details about your characters. Here we go. Yes, so basically in a, in a normal not pushing yourselves too hard, um, you know, on a good road kind of a situation, uh, easy travel, uh, it is reasonable to assume that you could cover something between 30 and 50 miles uh, in a day, depending on whether you're using uh, the mounted uh, the animals to, uh, to speed that up. Um, so you're looking at a two-day trip to get okay. to that town. Okay. So it's not like you could, like, blast all the way along the road and then get across the river by, by dawn or anything like that. Yeah. Now, that said, you have other options. Like, you actually flew yourselves uh, over the river before. Um, we got more people to fly now, though, and mules. Yeah. 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 I don't think I can. Um, I don't think I can do that. If but there um, was like I elephants can. or something, we could like make a blood bridge. <laughs> I found I found the D and D demon horse tab of my uh, Excel master spreadsheet Google Doc thing. Um, so in sixty minutes, which is how long a casting lasts, so I just have to redo the ritual, which is fine if I'm riding in a chariot, especially because I can just sort of sit there and relax and uh, cast. We can get um, 11.3 miles in 60 minutes, and I can just keep recasting. So in, it would take 10 hours to get to do the 100 miles. Now, that would assume that you could put everybody on the cart, including yeah. the mules, which you definitely That's can. True. Definitely can. And I believe the whole reason why you wanted to bring pack animals is because you have, you're not sure how much cargo there is to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're not sure yeah. How much in the cart. Here's a crazy okay. idea. What if, are there like cattle or other large ungulus out here? Doesn't yeah, someone uh, have an enlarged spell? I do not. I think, oh, no. um, enlarged. Is that Glorpa? Is that Glorpa? Oh, maybe? Because, like, how much blood can you get from a giant cow? <laughs> Enough to cross the river. <laughs> no question. <laughs> Why does the D&D Beyond description not say who, which type of people can cast this? Oh, here it is. No, Enlarge Reduce is a sorcerer wizard artificer mm. spell. It is not available to any of the character classes we have in this group. Thank goodness, that's a terrifying uh, loophole. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's to regularly just make gigantic things out of blood. Now that said, if you're like thinking of making like something like a raft, that's that true. Isn't like a giant yacht that can oh, hold no. the entire party at We're once. We're gonna ford the river. You could certainly, um, uh, you know, get enough blood from a certain number of animals. We need to, to cock the wagon and ford the yeah. river. Blood boat. Do you want to do a blood boat? So for now, let's assume that you're riding along the road discussing your options um, and seeing what there is to see. So are, are you've got some locals with you. Do you, you have any questions for them? Like, so for example, if you're saying, are there cattle nearby? Uh, Inigo will let you know that um, there are you know, various landholders raise horses and cattle on their lands all through Ibisha. That's basically the primary industry here. Uh, and he does know of um, herds uh, near the river that uh, there are there are lands south of the road. Um, no one keeps cattle uh, between the road and the river uh, hmm. simply because it's too steep. Okay, now, if you had cattle there, it would, they would forever be falling into the river and it would be a problem um you know this is before the advent of barbed wire so the um uh, but definitely there are uh cattle and, and horse ranches along the route you're taking 
Any other questions you might have for him? Hmm. Does anything live in that river? Like other than fish? Other than like oh. monsters? There are there are some yes there are some river um, some of the great uh, the great reptile creatures that uh, that will take. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is another one of the reasons why no one keeps their uh, their livestock too close to the waters. Uh, how would you lure one, and how much blood would it have in it? <laughs> what a strange question. <laughs> Fezzik, what do you think? And Fezzik says, Oh, Inigo, I don't know. I think it would be very, uh, very much blood, indeed. Very okay. hard to do Andre the Giant's accent. Spanish. Yes. I cannot not go French. Just go I'm French. Too Canadian. Just I'm go too French Canadian. with it. I'm just going to go French Canadian. Yeah. I, I, I give Perny a glance and be like, I could uh, talk to a frog. Maybe they know where one is. I think um, uh, give me enough blood to make a boat, I'll make a boat. Give me enough blood to make a bridge, I'll make a bridge. As it kind of tugs on an ego sleeve and says, "These are very strange people. They want to talk <laughs> to the frogs about making a bridge out of blood." It's, and it's he, an ego says, "And ego says, I think it is a euphemism." <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. That is a type of bridge. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure that. Let's I go talk to a frog. Bridge. Let's go talk to a frog. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna go talk to a frog. Um, let's we're we're peeling right off the road. We're gonna like clamber down the riverbank. I'll carry Perny if I need to. Well, you don't even have to go down there. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure Fetid can just get the frogs to. It's true. Come have a chat. I could just be like, "Yo, frogs." Yo, frogs. So. Hey. How much blood you got? <laughs> Not much, they're frogs. No. Oh, the, the real blood's in the, the deep river. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. So, yeah, Ugna can summon the frogs, and Fetid and Ugna can speak with them. Like, I, like, it's squat right down, frog. so I'm all crunched like a frog to talk to them. Great, great. Frog youth minister. Yep. <laughs> These are some of those, like, um, those, uh... Those small California frogs that uh, that the the ribbit sound is based on that everyone thinks all frogs sound like because Hollywood put them in movies. Mm -hmm. But Those this is supposed to be based on California, so it 100 percent that's what the frogs here are. They're, they're movie frogs. Good ribbit frogs. Yeah. They take off their like sunglasses and put down their little uh, teacup poodles and. Good, 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 good. So I'm I'm all crouched down. I'm like, oh, oh hey friends, how's it going? Uh, I've just decided yeah. since they're Californian frogs, I'm going to do a valley voice. Good. So they're, they're, they're like, Whoa, you, you're the biggest frog I've ever seen. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Californian frogs. Listen, how how's life in the river? Are there any, like, big bad monsters I could help you, you know, sort out? Well, there's lots of those, Your Majesty. This is, like, totally some of the biggest, meanest monsters live in this river i bet they eat lots of frogs right no they're they're too they're too big they don't worry about us we're too small sometimes we'll like when one of them goes up and eats one of those big dumb leg things with the with the points they'll make a big wave and then we can totally ride it out onto the, the shore and it's just bodacious that does that does sound pretty rad. Not gonna lie. <laughs> totally awesome. <laughs> Dear God. No, there are no mutant frogs here. Okay, good. Listen, you know if there's any of them like big guys nearby? Could you find one for me? They, they 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 whisper and confer amongst themselves, and one of them's like, uh, "There was one like maybe a mile up the river. 
like there's a place where there's a stream that comes down from the north and there's like a big underwater cave it's probably still there okay okay hey can you send word ahead and like get somebody to like rub it at me when we're nearby I mean this sounds like a lot of work I got some I bugs can. if you want them I can make a lot of bugs too as I like I like Nudge fed it in the ribs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got... Okay. I can give you guys I like a... Buffet. I got creepy... All you can eat bug buffet. <laughs> I need... I need a roll. Uh, a, this is a persuasion roll, but I think Ugna. <laughs> I got Roll me persuasion with advantage. I am actually good at that. You're negotiating with the frogs. Oh my god. So the first one was a 7, which is not great, but the second one is a nat 20. Good lord. Perfect. This is <laughs> really are the frog queen. I the am, and useful I have a plus 5 20. persuasion, which I always forget about. So 25. This is definitely the most important natural 20 that's ever been rolled in a Dungeons & Dragons game. <laughs> <laughs> to negotiate with frogs. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to pay them in bugs to yeah. get to find you to find a, a monster, monster that we can kill and use to make a blood bridge to cross a river. Love it, love it. <laughs> now, depending on the size of the monster, uh, it might not be a blood bridge, but a blood boat is Let's definitely blood boat a possible it. thing. Blood boat. This is very annoying. Watch. That sounds like a good slasher. Discord, why are you being so crappy? Blood Boat sounds like a really good horror movie from sci-fi. It does. Yep. Use use the blood to partially reanimate the monster's corpse and we'll ride it across the river. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm a terrible it. Viking ship. Blood Beach Monster Bingo. Mm -hmm. It's our it's our sixties send up <laughs> on that Funicello movie. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to uh message my shadow dm and discord decided that i would have a video image cool. in front of the one and only place i could click to do that cool okay so you did a spectacular job of negotiating with these frogs that's a sentence that i I'm, said i'm the time. queen queen of the frogs um, baby yes and that's part of why i gave you um, <laughs> uh advantage that and the fact that like the, these frogs have never seen so many bugs um so they are like they are absolutely like oh yeah like we'll go get all of our friends we can totally help you find one of these things one of these big big slime things and uh w w um ask them how we kill it what's the easiest way to kill it mm -hmm. i don't know if they know they're frogs yeah they're 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 like look at each other like they don't understand what those words mean <laughs> well first of all they don't Coming from Copernicus, yeah. um, but if you if you uh, fed it and and Ugna ask mm -hmm. them, they're like, they're like, what? Yeah. Like, Explain does that the mean does that mean get eaten frog. by? Because yeah. there's that's easy. If you want to get eaten by them, you just like be anywhere near their mouth. Mm, okay, so avoid the mouth. That's good How to know. Does a frog describe this monster? Well, that's a good question. Um, really big frog. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> no, you're the queen. That's true. Yeah, but flatter. Yeah. Mm. Um, I actually just sent my shadow DM to help me find some stats for this thing. <laughs> I did not plan this. Um, you know, for some weird. reason I didn't foresee uh, the 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 quest for a monster to make a boat out of. <laughs> Can't imagine why. <laughs> you really should with us. I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, but I'm gonna just say it's uh, likely to be. Uh, they would. They would definitely give you some description, so like that you can, you can basically ask them questions and sort of translate from frog to a reasonable description of. Sounds good. And um, because. Uh, you have decent uh, arcana. I think it would be arcana. I'm trying to decide if it would be arcana or nature. 
Um, Why not both? Could be both. Arcane nature. That's like all of D and D nature. <laughs> yeah. 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 Make me a yeah. Make me a, a nature roll. I got an eighteen. That's on a nature roll. Okay. Uh, um. So as they give you this description, they're like, "Okay, it's basically, uh, you know, it's like a frog, um, but it's, um, you know, kind of grayish, and it's kind of like it's got real pointy bits at the front, um, mm -hmm. and some of them." stick up really far uh, above it and it can it's got really uh, long feet um, and its butt is like really uh, really big <laughs> and, and you, they, it's just start giving you butt. these descriptions and its mouth is huge yeah but uh, you basically get the uh, start to put this together that that they're talking about what you can only assume is something like a hippo. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, do you, you wanna... think that they're talking about some kind of, some kind of hippos? Okay. Do you guys want to fight a hippo? Oh yeah. Oh, and sorry. It's and a terrible now... idea. But that just makes me want to do it. Yeah. At least you're honest. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And now, can I get uh, an Arcana check from those of you who are doing those nature rolls? Or maybe just from to. Copernicus. Yeah, I got a minus one. I ain't doing that? shit. I ain't rolling for shit because it's out of my wheelhouse. I wouldn't even bother. A mm -hmm. 22. Okay, so you basically realize that this is, in fact, a monster that you have heard of. This is a magical creature that looks a lot uh, like a reptilian hi hippo. Hmm. Um, so it's it's got like features similar uh, or like like a thick hide like a crocodile um but they're basically uh very like large and round uh it's called a big mouthed gnar uh by the locals are they, hungry? Are they hungry hungry uh Good. You know, yeah it depends, some marbles. On, it depends on yeah on how many marbles you have um but they are a uh, largely, um, largely jungle dwelling. Uh, but apparently they're like invasive or something because you've never heard of them being this far north before. Huh. Okay, so killing them is actually useful. Yeah. Best mm -hmm. thing to do with invasive species. Kill them and eat them. Yep. Or turn them into architecture. <laughs> yep. Kill them and eat them, by which we mean use them for transport. <laughs> Kill them and use their blood. I was Look, thinking you about gotta eat, across the river. You gotta hollow them out, so you gotta eat the meat. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lionfish, right? delicious. Uh, bullet squid, super delicious. Also mm. super invasive. So good, though. Uh, so that Arcana check was good enough that you know uh, that these creatures have a uh, resistant hide. And a lot of magic energy attacks are mm. not super effective against them. Um, and uh, they have a very high armor class as well, yeah. unsurprisingly. But it's there's specifically some uh, magical resistance there. Um, you also know that they have like a, a kind of a limited breath weapon um, where they basically like they fill with water like balloons and they can shoot it out as sort of a water uh, breath weapon. Um, and that they mo mostly they have like gigantic tusky teeth and can don't get chomped. Flash up, yeah. And they're they they lurk in like the bottoms of rivers and swamps. They're basically amphibious. Um, so this is nature's <laughs> fuck you. Yep. Mm -hmm. What if a hippo and was worse? Imagine a cross between a giant crocodile, a manatee, and a hippo. Mm. And then give it some magical powers, and that's what you're dealing with. Mm -mm. Thanks, I hate it. That's bad. So, like I, the manatees, I, it's lurking in the in the depths of the swamp. But unlike the manatees, it'll come up and eat you because it doesn't like you, and it's bad tempered, like a hippo. Well, we don't 
have to fight it. We nope. could still go to the Ford, we but could. it seems like we're doing okay. We're doing this. Um, <laughs> what? Um, where does it pull in the water from for its breath weapon? Does it like suck it in through gills or through its mouth and then it spits it back out? Like kind of both. Like the, that general area, the, the pharynx. What um, do do any of us have anything that, if say a hippo were to, or if a gnar were to inhale it, would make that gnar very sick or explosive or something? <laughs> like a bunch of tums? We're gonna explode a hippo. <laughs> Like yeah, some kind of combustible or um, a poison, a potion of something unpleasant. Can we teleport Ugna inside one and just have her rip up? <laughs> like a birthday cake for a president, but a lot hammer. bloodier. <laughs> Wait, but no one's got potions. No. No. Nope. You, know, you you left your your your. Glorpa potion making machine uh, mm. aside. Uh, Glorpa left us. Yeah. <laughs> what about Danielle? If you're watching, we miss you. Danielle. We don't blame you. Nope. No. I love that our our plan is like we could go two days and then cross at the bridge in a town, or we can no, fight a monster right monster. now. Right now, kill a river monster and turn its <laughs> blood into a boat. That Let's makes much more do sense. It. I mean, this we're is, the trash heroes, my friend. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a hundred percent on brand. Yep. So, I can, well, let me just check my demon list and see I if can there's anything. Taunt that... it. You you specifically have a water demon. Ooh. I know that. List. Yeah. Like it's it's that's its. Oh whole no! Thing. It was the shadow demon that you let go for a year. Yeah, that's the only one you can't use. Right, right, right. I mean, you can, but you would be breaking your promise. Oh, well, yeah. he did try to kill us on the way out. He's a dickhead. Yeah, but he didn't promise. He's not still a to demon. Do, he didn't promise he wasn't going to do that. So. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, you can't simple. really get mad at a demon for being a demon. <laughs> yep. You'd be so surprised summon... at what I can do. True. <laughs> I could summon um, my my water demon uh, to do battle with this thing. That'll help. Um. Do we have anything that, like, if we smuggled it in inside a cow, when it, when it, yeah, it helps. <laughs> if, do we have anything that we could, like, explode yeah, inside a cow? Like, <laughs> thing we, just, just, before we go into a fair fight, I just want to stack the deck and cheat as much as possible in advance, you know what I mean? Do you guys have any explosives? Do we have any weird herbs, though? Could we make it sleepy? Like, well, could Fred cinnamon. find some weird stuff? Tromlin, we have to fill a cow with cinnamon and then have it eat that, and then it will choke. <gasps> oh, it'll inhale all the cinnamon. Yeah, you just, just, water you just need to convince it that it's got to record a TikTok. Mm -hmm. it's, a, <laughs> it's a cinnamon <laughs> challenge. You can do it. Yep. That's like, that is a really, really modern kind of anachronism that I just committed there. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> I think the cinnamon challenge way predates TikTok. Yeah, I think people, no, I think people were doing cinnamon challenges on Vine. Was that a Vine? <laughs> oh, maybe it was a Vine. <laughs> I think I'm just, I'm, this is this is a very specific kind of anachronism. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Welcome to the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you don't have any explosives. So you, um, uh, I think I'm gonna before I go any further here, I think I'm gonna get my uh, shadow DM to start up the I'm next poll. I will turn this yeah. away. It's not likely to come up before the end of the game tonight, but it'll be a setup for, for the beginning if of the time. If we're fighting a, a hippo. Yeah. Well, we'll see how long the hippo fight takes. <laughs> um, but uh, go ahead and start that up. Excellent. There's the poll. Uh, so please uh, do vote, our lovely audience. As you know, you always get to vote once for free, and you can vote yeah. extra times if you want to put points or, or also, points or bits into it. Uh, we have not rested again since we left town. Uh, so I am still down Correct. a bunch of hit points. I'm still at like half. We should, we should definitely a long rest. take a long rest if at all possible. Yeah. Well, at this particular point, where you're at, um, you're you've basically gotten to these frogs, and they're like, "Yes, we can find you this creature. It's like within a mile of you." So mm. there isn't time for a long rest before this encounter, unless right. you're going to go in a different direction. But there is time for a short rest. 
which oh, will be sufficient enough. for Perny to replenish spells that's and good. for Ugna to do another um, yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I is believe... that for midnight, by the way? I get... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can roll for a new... So right now, I think, in terms of daily spells, um, Fetid is down two second-level spells and one first. Mm -hmm. And Tromlin is just down one second level spell. Mm -hmm. And uh, a short rest means that Copernicus is completely repl replenished on spells. So it's just a question of Ugna. Do you want to put the rest of your... Yeah, uh, I've got the rest of my hit dice here. And just see where you land on yeah. your points. All right, it's D10. I've got two left. Oh, well, that's pretty good. That's a 15. And then don't forget about your con bonuses. Right. Plus three. Six. Yeah, per, per die. Yeah. So I get another six. Oh, I didn't add those last time. Oh, well, you should have. So that I should was get like five, five D. Three, 15 that's 15. Points. That's a lot. It's not nice. a small amount. No. Yeah. I wondered why you rolled so low. I thought yeah. you just had really, really bad dice rolls. Because wasn't it, what, like 20-something? Hey. Yeah, I am now up to only one hit point away from my max. Amazing. That, that makes sense when it's yeah. your full, like, all of your Yeah, your I've used dice. all my hit dice now, so I can't, uh, I have no more. Um, so, when I get so yeah, you, you could still go. You're basically at yeah. that point. I think we should do it. I the other thought I'm having is um, I don't think the things need to be dead for me to use their blood. The blood just didn't be, needs to be not in them. So, mm -hmm. so right. if I just drop, if I cannonball my demon Agrajag, who has blood, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, into the water on top of this thing, and they just duke it out, and then Agrajag eventually disappears, and even if the thing doesn't die, we could just have enough blood floating around. I could just as we like hit it about. with arrows and stuff as well. Yeah. From, yeah, yeah. I mean, your, I'll have a like, I don't. You know. I would say from your uh, Arcana check because you rolled well enough that you would think that the best option would be your your water demon. Uh oh, definitely for for like winning the combat effectively. But I just want to make a lot of blood. Um, <laughs> does does um do I think Agrajag has blood? He seems kind of like a fleshy thing, right? You don't think that this would work with demon blood. Mm. That your your blood it's it's like demon's blood is a very very different creature from the the sacrificial blood that you use to do your magic your blood magic. Well then, if we summon the water demon, I think it does like water kinetic psionic attacks or something. So it's not going to make wounds. So we're going to have to do the bloodletting ourselves. But no, as long as we win the fight, we would that's actually cool. be able to kill the thing, and then you can have yeah. all of its blood. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do it. Yep. Um, okay, so I'm just pulling up my, uh, where is the one with your, uh, this is the problem with reorganizing your stuff is you have to then get used to how reorganized everything is. I am searching for the Perny list of demons. Perny's uh, big book of demons. I'm going to end up putting it into, oh, it's under NPCs. There it is. I'm going to put it into Pantheon. Uh, speaking of which, Randy, did you say that you wanted to, uh, Pray Roll to a, a new god today. Roll a new nine. A nine. All right. So go for it and roll me a d. I did. I rolled a nine. I just... Oh, a nine. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I misheard. Okay. Pantheon, Randy's god list. Number nine is... Drum roll, please. Oh, it's good old Njord. <laughs> Hi. It's uh, it's one of your nearly probably one of your uh, first few gods, uh, northern god of wealth and good fortune, father of Frey and Freya, associated with lordship and nobility and the divine right of kings. Tramon probably has some mixed feelings about him now that he's learned about his family. Symbol, yeah. is, a, symbol is a simplified long ship in silver. Oh, okay. He, he went a safe so, passage across the water. It's open. It's, it's going to be not a silver ship, though. So the frogs will return to you, and uh, 
and uh, let you know that they have. Uh, uh, yeah, we uh, we totally found that uh, uh, one of those uh, those big weird frogs. Uh, it's like there's totally one sleeping up in that cave that we told you about. Oh, cool. Ooh, cool. It's... Can we have all the bugs now? Yes, I will use my many powers to summon a smorgasbord of bugs. Woohoo, it is like frog. A smorgasbord. Like, yeah. Yes. A smorgasbord. Good. A bug fay. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, so, um, you have basically, you basically get like directions from the frogs or whatever. Uh, Fetid has the various spells through beast sense or something. The frogs can like lead you to the, uh, uh, to the site. Um, with your, I guess within a mile, it takes you like, I think an hour, maybe not even, uh, to get to the right place. Uh, and you're basically on the banks of the river and you know where the cave is and you know that there's this big sleeping beast in there. So what's the plan? I think uh, make the demon go in first and draw it out. Yeah, like flush it out. Yep. Yeah. So that would be a casting of that spell then. Uh, so this is your... Uh, no, it's not the ritual. What do I think? I'm thinking of your contact other plane. This is your summon greater demon. Yeah. Excellent. Do I have Excellent. enough rope to make a, a snare for this thing so that I can, like, <laughs> hook its head when it comes out? You could try and water ski across the water with it. I'm just thinking so I can, I can keep it from, from uh, charging you all as much, and or from, like, submerging. Okay, so uh, I believe... I'm just check, trying to figure out... I can't remember if he gets a saving throw... Immediately or only after the first round? Mm. Here we go. Uh, on speaking the foul words, uh, the demon, uh, uh, this demon, by the way, is named uh, Flockwaban. Flock Flock and you are going to summon Flockwaban. And using his true name, you give him disadvantage to save, uh, to break free of your control. Um, are you going to uh, put your your circle of protection around yourself when you cast this? <laughs> yeah, I think I will. So Why? you and you alone are within the circle because it's only one human-sized <laughs> creature. You don't want to raw dog that infernal magic. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I'm sure your friends will be fine. It's good. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, well, I'm just going to go ahead and make the, the save. <laughs> well, it definitely fails the first saving throw, because it's a hey. one. Hey. I was rolling a different die, I swear. Okay, so Perny stands by the riverbanks, cuts his wrists, and makes a circle of blood around himself, and in the process, uh, chants a bunch of terrifying, awful, horrible words that hurt your soul to listen to. Uh, and then the water of the of the uh, uh, the river surges upwards and this massive uh, demonic creature appears. Effectively, Flockwaban appears to be a cross between something like a jellyfish and a large mollusk hmm. with an enormous shell that's full of carefully fluted holes for all of the, the many, many limbs to reach out. Yikes. Uh, it's just a, like a demon are... shuckle. Yeah, many, many eyes. Sort of like a cross between a, a nautilus and a, and a jellyfish. Mm. Or a nautilus and a man of war. But like with uh, scallop eyes, with like the uh, rows gross. and rows and rows of eyes everywhere. Love it. Um, and it surges up out of the water, uh, and this blubbering voice goes. Go oh, get the hippo thing. And it reaches for you, and then it stops. Go to you. Yeah. And it Go the goes back into the water. He's, all, he's always like this. Don't and, it's, him. and it submerges beneath the river to go and attack this thing. 
Uh, okay, so let's do the, uh, let's roll initiative. <laughs> so we at least know where everybody fits. Boy. Nice. Not rolling well. Clockbot's going to go on yours. Worst. What do I got? Uh, nine. Numbers. Nine for Ugna. Anyone else? Oh, pretty. Seven for Fetid. Twelve. Seven for Fetid, twelve for Perny. Six. Oh, no. Six <laughs> for Tromlin. Oh, no. I'm going to roll once for... <laughs> what the fuck is... <laughs> I'm rolling once for your various porters. They have a 20. A nat 20. I don't know that that matters. They're like, cause they're... we're going to really fast not be here. <laughs> Yeah, at the Good. moment, they're kind of, like, leaning towards fleeing from the horrendous yeah. river demon that just appeared. Oh, I've also um, unhooked Trey for myself and, like, put him somewhere safe in, like, a little den. <laughs> and 12 is what you rolled for um, Perny that's with your initiative bonus? Yeah, with my lack of initiative bonus. Which is how much? You have, you have uh, zero, zero, right? Yeah. So I'm just double-checking the initiative bonus. is plus three... So that's a 15 for Flocquilon. And then it's a 13 for the Hippo. So starting with your uh, goes first. allies, your allies <laughs> we in terror. Good. <laughs> Good. Smart. They start like running away. And, uh, oh, lovely. I see that the poll has completed. Excellent. Oh, and a hype train is building as well. Ooh. So, uh, yay. Because we're causing yeah. chaos. All that stuff. Okay. Let me know when we can look at the chat and I'll switch it back here. We good? Yep. We're good anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, so next up is Flockwaban. He is going to attack. He, I don't know, it is going to attack. Uh, I'm just double checking what his specials are. Uh, da, 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 da. Echolocation sense. <laughs> if this hippo kills your demon, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure. There we go, the actions list. That's what I was looking for. Christ. Um, so one of the things that Flockwan can do is hydrokinesis. He can actively shape and control uh, uh, water and like shape water. So he's just going to attack by flat out the water? pushing the water. We all get an inspiration. Oh, oh. Hooray. Which is great because we're about to do some real crazy shit. Yeah. Flockwan uses his shaping water power to be basically nice. surprising the giant hippo creature. The gnawing, or the 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 gnaw. Um, uh, he is going to push the um, all of the water in the cave out, and basically like manhandle this uh, this hippo beast right out of its cave. So you see Flockwaban disappear beneath the waves, and then there's some like huge surge of water, and the the hippo thing just like bursts through the surface. Looking, if anything, surprised. <laughs> yeah. Fair. He didn't ask for this, so. No. Nope. No, he really didn't. Uh, and next up is the hippo, uh, which is surprised. very displeased about this situation uh, and being so rousted out of its bed. Um, and so it's immediately going to um, blast its water. Uh, it's water breath uh, at the um, the demon, uh, and that is a twenty foot line, so it will also potentially hit people on the shore. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so this is a saving throw. This is a deck save. Uh, I'm just going to determine who on the shore is in the line of fire. I like how we could have just cut down enough trees that we could have made a raft. Mm -hmm. yeah, nope. but, but that wouldn't have that been would have made much sense. That would have taken time. 
Why build yep. a raft when you could build a raft out of blood? Well, especially, yep. and conveniently, uh, Copernicus uh, is in the line of fire. Oh. Um, as That's is Ugna. All right. So, oh, no, the consequences throw. of my actions. <laughs> Deck saving throws, please. Ooh, that's not great. That's a five. Uh, that's also a five. Um, now, I've got an inspiration, but... Yeah, me too. Eh, I've Which, also got some hit points. I don't know. You. What does damage do to concentration for, like, keeping... Yeah, I would, yeah like, I would spend if, one if I were you. Uh, if you... Is it a concentration spell? I'm pretty sure it is. Hmm. Demon summoning? I thought it was a... Because it gets to uh, to roll. Ah. I hate that Wikidot is down because it's my... I know, I know. I keep getting quickest... married. You were hacked by Russians. Notice. It's the quickest thing to look up spell stats. Concentration, one hour. Yeah, it is a concentration spell. So if you lose concentration, you lose the demon. Um... I just well, control of a demon, which exactly. is not the worst thing. Like as long as these two things fight, we're, we're good. No, it, it's a concentration check, right? So okay. it, it doesn't mean so it's automatic, does... but a concentration check is a de is a con save, and that's not your best. And does the damage like stack with how hard that is, or is it just like you get hit, you make one, and that's it? If you take damage, are the mechanics? Um. Okay. So I'm gonna. Mm... What's the DPS? Yeah, you're deciding whether you want to to spend inspiration, basically, is what's going mm -hmm. on, I assume. Yeah. Do I just take, take the damage? Because I have a better chance of retaking the constitution save, um, I think, than I do the dex save. What would the DC for the constitution save be? 15 or 10? Or... Uh, for a concentration check? Yeah. Oh, actually, yes, sorry. The concentration check DC, I believe, is based on the damage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, concentration check is 10, or half the damage taken, whichever is higher. Okay. I'm spending mine, but I did not roll super great, so I don't know if that's... I'm going to take, take the damage. Okay. It is a DC 15 uh, uh, deck save. Yep, I uh, did not do a 15. I got a 12. Okay, so that's failed. Yep. So both of you have failed the saving throw. So has the, um, so has the uh, 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 demon. And do, 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 do. Where the heck are my stats? There it is. Okay. Um, so failed save. You guys are going to be uh, pushed back 15 feet. Ooh. Oh. Uh, and you're going to each take 20 damage. Ooh. Oh, wow. So that would be um, that only that's still only a DC 10 concentrations to check because it's yeah. the same either way. Right. Which is okay. I can make it eight instead of a 15. So I think my right. chance is better there. Yeah. What do we do? So go ahead and roll your constitution save and see if you maintain control of this demon. Oh, nine. So I'm gonna gonna use that inspo. Oh boy. Not mark it. Mark it off. Do nine with your bonus. Okay. I was like. Yeah. Oh, but a plus two. Yeah. Seven plus plus two is nine. Oof. 17! 19 Much better. Much better. Whew. Okay. Good thing you guys got some inspirations back. Thank here. you, chat. Thank, thank yes. you, chat. You're awesome. <laughs> okay, so the, the hippo's entire turn was taken up with blasting a, a, a fountain of nasty smelling water. Uh, it seems to be Ooh, like a Komodo favorite. dragon. It basically has like rot, rot and gunk growing in its mouth. And, it, and when it Great. does the water attack, it's like full of nasty I should learn that move. Stank yeah. water. Get a breath weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next up on the initiative track is Ugna. Oh, I am I am far away now. But also I'm angry. True. Uh, do I do a really stupid thing or do I do the smart thing? <laughs> if, are you asking I don't know. Me? <laughs> if, if, are you trying to decide or are you just asking me because history it gives me a solid answer to that question. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. The smart thing is, do not get in the water with this thing. It's a water creature. That's a bad idea. But also, 
I could do what I'm going to do, which is to leap into the air and try to smash this thing on the head with a, on the head with my hammer. That sounds much more character appropriate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go for it. Good. <sighs> okay. Just an attack roll, I'm assuming, or I'm doing some sort of yep. athletics to aim. Well, actually, you know what? Make me, make me, um, yeah, make me a jumping an athletics sure. roll. Sure. Oh yeah, plus eleven. So uh, seventeen. Good to go. So now make me the um, the attack roll. This thing has an armor class of eighteen. Ooh, okay. Ooh, Ooh. I have a plus eight. I rolled a ten. Wow! So you just <laughs> made it. I was very concerned about that. It is a very, very armored hide. Mm -hmm. Now, it is resistant to bludgeoning damage, so it's going to take half damage here. Right, 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 right. But. Uh, roll your I'm damage. also going to. Do I spend a superior to dice on this? I should probably do that. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yep. I'm doing it. Uh, so I will get my normal damage plus a superiority die. Which is lovely. Where's my D8? There's my D8. The birds have kicked it under my uh, monitor. Whoo! Uh, twenty-six damage on the first attack. Uh, so that's thirteen. Because I rolled maximum damage: an eight on the D8 and a ten on the D10. Wow. Nice. Does that and that included your superiority point? Yeah. That's why I would got the D eight. Otherwise it would have just been the D ten. Twenty twenty five? Yeah, twenty five. Um an attack number two. Indeed. Nope, that one misses. So you, you basically hit it, but it glances off its ridiculously thick hide. Yeah, off its skull. Is this a point at which you wish to use an action surge? Yeah. <laughs> when and you land on a hippo's way, head. That one didn't hit, so you don't have to spend your superiority die. You right. only spend them when I'm you successful. succeed. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, boom. All right, two more attacks. Uh, two tens. So 18 and 18. So 18 and 18. Wow. Let's dump some more superior dice on there. Um, I didn't choose which combat maneuver I was doing. None of them are super appropriate. Maybe a pushing a throw to like... Yeah, the I'm pushing like, is the sort of your default one yeah. that is doing extra Let's damage. Let's try and push it towards shore because it's a, it's a water creature. We don't want it going back in its cave. Yep. So I'm going to do that True. two more times. Okay. Um, it's not, I don't think it's actually going to move it because its size category is too yeah. big, but like it doesn't matter. You're still adding the damage. Uh, da, da, da. So that is 11 plus 7, 18. And... Uh, 20. Total 20 damage? Yep. Go another 10. Uh, no, sorry, that was a, a 20 damage for that second attack. So How 18... Many times have you... I had two attacks. Before you used your action surge, you had two attacks. You hit it once and didn't hit it the second time. Right. You and I spent my action surge for an extra action. You, for two extra attacks, because yes. you get your whole, whole turn again. My whole turn again. You hit both times, because yep. you rolled two 18s. I did an 18 damage on the first attack and a 20 damage on the second attack. Gotcha. So I only got one of those. So that's another nine damage. Okay, so you did a total of 32 damage to something that's resistant to your damage. That's not so that nothing. So you actually did 64. Yes. Well, that in perspective yes. for everyone else. As everyone goes, hmm, uh, Ugna can kill me in a round. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Um, Good thing I'm on uh, your side. Then who had the nine? I think that was Fetid. 
I had a 12 yeah. and I haven't gone yet. Oh, oh right. I think I, did, I think I just did this in the wrong order. I think yeah. I, I thought that you were Ugna. I thought the 12 was Ugna. What did you roll? Were you, you were the 9, weren't you, Alina? Yeah, I was. Right. And then Fetid was the 7, and Copernicus was, or uh, Trongan was the 6. Mm-hmm. I can I can trade you, or we can switch back next round, or whatever you yeah. want. That's fine. Yeah. You, it, there's no one else between you, so it doesn't matter. So go ahead and do yours. Okay. Um, so it only matters I... if what you were going to do would prevent. Like if you were like, I'm going to banish it, and then I'd be like, Well, I guess we couldn't do any yeah. of that. No, no, no. I I was thinking. Um, has any blood been drawn from it yet? Uh, no. At the time that you're going before Ugna, um, and even when Ugna's going, Ugna's like on just hitting head. it on the head. So mm -hmm. no. No it blood. has not been damaged in any way that has any any blood. Okay. Um, I think party's gonna say um, uh, need some blood from it, and then uh, I, I'm gonna like hold a ready in action. What I I have a few things I'd like to do, and you can tell me if they're all unfeasible. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one is, would it be possible for me to um, cover uh, Ugna's hammer in like blood spikes? Uh, like crafting blood spikes, <laughs> so that it, it turns to the piercing. So that it turns to what? Piercing damage. Um. Is U Ugna, ha half of Ugna's damage is more damage than I can do in a <laughs> So the most <laughs> thing I can do is just. It's uh, keep her damage up. You rolled well enough on Arcana that I'll just flat out tell you that it's it's basically resistant to all physical damage. Mm. Okay. Okay. If you could turn that weapon magical, that would be a help. But I don't no. think you have a spell for that. I could throw Ugna my knife. If <laughs> Ugna, would that help you? Like, would that would that reduce your damage, or would, would that would probably reduce my knife... damage? Unless you can do like, unless it's a magical weapon. It's a plus one. Or the size of a car. <laughs> it, it is a magical weapon. Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, I have one, a plus one hammer, so. You have, oh, okay. but you don't have but a magical. But it's not magical. Hammer. That's true. It's just dwarven make. Yeah, yeah, My, yeah. Not the plus one. So I could. Okay, then maybe what I'll do is, um, uh, how how what kind of action is it to just like chuck my knife toward Ugna and yell like catch? It 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 would be like a bonus action. It wouldn't take your action, but it would okay. also require. I would I would require you to roll, to be throwing it in the right direction and not just chuck your magic dagger. <laughs> <over>. Okay. Because <laughs> like. That's you're, you're suggesting that you're going to throw your, your, your family heirloom uh, at someone who is, like, kind of riding the back of a giant hippo. Is the pull done? Can I go back in the chat? Oh, no. <laughs> I back there. Uh, can I see the um, the other screen that has the uh, inspiration? Do I have inspiration? Oh, yeah. Let me, yeah, you can go back and look at the... Um, I forgot oh, yeah, that I saw this on the map. We'll need to switch back here. Yeah. I used one uh, for the the save. Alina, did uh, you already uh, roll over the next, uh, that... Uh... Yep. Okay. I haven't reset it, though. Yeah, I, I, I figured that was the case, but I just wanted to double check. Okay. So then I got nothing. Um, all right. I mean, then probably I think... your best bet is that in terms of just doing a lot of damage would probably be the Witch Bolt. But it's resistant to, like, magical energy attacks, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna check... Ugna my dagger, and if we gotta go after it, we gotta you go after it. You can do both it. of those things. Yeah, I'll aim, I'll aim short rather than far so that it's easier to like recover it, it's not like super deep. Worst case, so, I can send a frog out to find it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so uh, what, do you, what do you need for me for that? Attack I just need you to make a ranged weapon attack. Okay. Can I catch that with a bonus, uh, bonus action? Because I've used all my attacks for this round. All my actions. Uh, yes, yes, you can attempt to catch okay, it with a bonus like, action, what? it's fine. Um, so I need a, a, a ranged attack roll uh, against like a DC, like a, an AC of 10, basically. Okay. Um, probably the same as my, my regular dagger attack. No, probably better because my dagger attack would be strength. And this would be no, it is. Attack. It is your, your dagger attack is dex. It's a, okay. it's, it's plus four. Nat 20! Yes! Hell <laughs> yeah. It's been so long since I've gotten that 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Sorry, okay. Like, now, however, now, Alina, <laughs> you need to roll, roll to catch this thing. Because you may, just, you may have just been, like, <laughs> stabbed with an at 20. <laughs> this uh, crazy man on the shore is throwing a knife at you. I mean, 17? I yelled catch. 
Uh, 17 will do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm not like, going to make you, um, you... Your goal here is to throw it so that it, it's like hilt first. Possible. Like a toss, yeah. not like... Yeah. Okay, catch! Yeah. Oh, uh, the the nat 20 is time slows down a little bit, and you watch it like... Yeah. Spinning. <laughs> and I turn around just in time to be like... Right here. No, the nat 20, it actually looks like this. It, the, the, the dagger moves so fast. You don't see it coming, yep. and you just go and put your hand up, and it goes thump Good. into your hand, and you, and you have a moment of being like, <gasps> and then you and look, and it's down. actually between your fingers Perfect. first. It's actually, the blade is pointing away from you. And it's like by it my face, like like inches from my eye. I'm like, yeah, and you're like, <laughs> thanks. Careful with that, and get, get Grandpa some blood. <laughs> and then I'm going to ready an action to... um. Uh, uh, basically, the next time it does its breath attack, any blood in the water, I want to turn into, like, jagged shards of shrapnel. So it's, like, breathing in barbs and daggers and all sorts of small, sharp stuff. Do you not want to do a spell attack while you've got the chance? Might as well. Like, you've got an action here. Do I, I, I want to use the action to do the blood crafting to craft... To basically, once there's blood in the water and it's trying to breathe it in, inside its body, turn all that blood... Or, like, as it's breathing it in, turn it into, like, sharp stuff that's going to, like, rip it up from the inside. What kind of action is that? <laughs> well, for one thing, that requires touch. Uh, so you'd have to go get in the water yeah. by its mouth. It's probably, it's advice. I won't be able to stab it until next round anyway, so there won't be any blood. Yeah. All you right. also, so you also, don't forget that one of your blood casting options is, is, is the hemorrhage. Where I you can I... actually make things bleed. I, I thought I had two things, and I thought they were basically blood goosing my spells and blood crafting. Yes. So you're, you're, you have blood magic where you goose your spells, and then you have blood casting where you have blood dice. And the blood uh... dice allow you to do several things. One is to animate blood, where you make a blood elemental. One is to hematurgy, craft items out of blood. Uh... And one is to uh, hemorrhage, basically make a target bleed from its eyes. Probably <laughs> oh. not a lot of blood, though. Nice. Like, yeah. for what you're trying to do, it's, it's not going to be sufficient favorite. amount of blood. You're okay. better off at this stage doing something like the Witch Bolt, where you could take a single spell and potentially dump a lot of damage into it. Okay. Um, let me just see if I have any good damage dealing stuff before I do that. I think it is probably by far your best damage cause other than um oh sorry you can't do that because you have to concentrate on the witch bolt which would right. lose you the demon right yeah i think a lot of my damage dealing stuff is concentration for no, now trip. you got to do a cantrip yeah don't don't yeah. loose the demon yeah. yeah okay then i'm just gonna Perny's gonna go fishing for a hippo you can hit it with hemorrhage for 2d6 damage you can hit with the mind sliver for like 2d8 damage or your chill touch for 2d8 damage. Those yeah, I think I'll do chill touch for 2d8 plus one. And, Actually, the um, mind sliver I think is one that would not uh, it would not be resistant to because it's not an energy attack. Okay, then yeah, let's mind sliver right there. Uh, I'm just Scream still checking. Directly I think you, into its oh, brain. No, you don't make a you don't make a hit attack roll. It has to make a saving throw. Ooh, nice. Uh, it is not succeeded. What's my damage on that one? Mine sliver. <laughs> no, not I, I. You won't fool me again, Wiki Dot. I know you're down. Uh oh, it's the same. It's two d six, same as your uh, hemorrhage. Yep. But in addition to the damage, uh, it gets a penalty to the next saving throw that it makes. Okay, then six damage, and um, it's ready for um, someone to knock it down. Nice. And oh, are and you actually, boosting that with your blood magic at all? No, I'm pretty. That took a lot of hit points out of me. Um, okay. I'm gonna, but I will. Um, because that's that's an attack action, and I use the bonus action to throw the dagger. So I will run yep. back to my blood circle and hide in it, unless the blood circle is oh, right because you're pushed away. away. Um, yeah. Let me see. Uh, yes, it has indeed. The water wow. washed away your blood circle. You do not have a protective circle anymore. All right. Uh, and oh. next up is Fetid. All right. Well, I'm going to make this guy my quarry. I am unsurprised. 
Yes. And that's a bonus I'm action. Gonna start, I'm just going to start pumping arrows into this thing. So, first attack. Will almost certainly not hit. That is a 15. No, 18. So, an arrow ricochets off its 15. horny hide. Arrow number two is a big fat nat 20. <laughs> double right. damage. Don't forget, you get to double the damage of the extra d6 as well. All right. D6. So your total damage here would be... Oh, that's filth. That's not fitted. I was like, why is his damage so little? It's just a little sting. So you're basically rolling You're rolling 2d6 plus 5 and doubling it. Cool. 8 and 5, 13, so 26 damage. Nice. Nice. Which becomes 13 again because of its resistance, yep. but that was as much damage as Ubi did with any one hit. And that's just your first. Uh, so that was your second attack, right? So yeah, that was my second. Chonk, chonk. Arrowed. Excellent. Oh, you could roll again on that first attack. Oh, really? Yeah, because you have double checking. Yes. So because your fighting style is close quarters shooter. Oh, okay. Um, and because you have a friend uh, within five feet of you attacking this target, uh -huh. you can use your pack tactics. Oh, nice. So yeah, I'm because gonna... of your fighting yeah, style, you can use pack tactics with, a, with an arrow. So you roll. can... All right. That one will hit. That's a 26. Nice. So damage. 36. Uh, pretty good. Another 10 damage. So five more. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and next up is Tromlin. Um, so I assume he's not within like touch range of me. Uh, oh, you can get to with it, like he's he's by the shore, um, but you would have to get out into the water to touch him. But you could do it. Yeah, it's I don't think I should do that. I'm gonna do guiding bolt. Guiding bolt. Mm, guiding bolt. Nice. And a guiding bolt, as I recall, is. A range attack. Uh, yes, but I think it's the damage type is uh, um, radiant. radiant. So I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as energy attack. Mm. Maybe it does, actually. Wait a minute. Is it like light or is it like divine? It's like divine energy. Yeah, it's like, no, it's like light. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's. it's uh, on light. Yeah, so a uh, flash of light streaks towards a creature of your choice within range. I'm just double checking which damage types are considered uh, energy for the purposes of energy absorption, because that's the rule I was using. I can't spell absorption, apparently. I type it six times. There we go. Yeah, excuse me. So yes, you can indeed uh, get full damage on this. So go for it. All right. Um. Oh shit. Uh, what is my attack bonus? Uh, spell I think is seven. Okay, cool. That's twenty six. Ooh. Nice. So that beats the AC eighteen. That's uh, forty six so total damage. Sixteen points. And it is not resistant to this, so full damage. And does that not do something else, Guiding Bolt? Uh, yes, it means the next person to attack him has uh, advantage. Oh, nice. Right, right. right. And it's failing, and it's saving throw is going to get uh, sabotaged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Nice. Let's see. Um, so the next person up uh, is your your uh, various friends that have like fled in terror. Um, followed by a saving throw for Flockoban. Let's see Yay. how well Flockoban rolls. I have not made my saving throw. Oh. <laughs> you can you can thank the disadvantage because uh, that fifteen would have made it with his bonus, but the three will not. Remember, he has disadvantage because he's one of the ones you know the true name of. 
Yeah. Uh, That's uh, so he doesn't break free yet. 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 Uh, so I guess he's got to use his demon powers to do your nefarious bidding. Oomph. Uh, what's a good attack for him to do? I think we're going to do a straight up, um, multi-attack here. Uh, with his crazy water tendrils. So the, uh, his long, uh, tendrils of, uh, um, like Portuguese man of war stingers basically uh, surge through the water and it become ice spikes that shoot up from the water into the hide of this thing. And he gets uh, advantage on that attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. That's a good point. Um, I'm going to get you to roll the attacks for me there, Copernicus. Okay. Your, if there's uh, a saving throw involved, he gets disadvantage. Yep. So he gets two attacks. Okay. So roll the first one with advantage. Uh, first one I rolled um, a 19 is the best roll. Uh, uh, that is that, that exceeds 18, so that hits. Yep. And the second one does not have advantage. Yeah, but I rolled a natural 18. Which just well, it just makes it without his bonus. Oh, sorry, the 19 is what you rolled. Never mind. Yeah, uh, you've already made it because he's got plus fives on these. Nice. Okay. All right. The damage here, or should I plus six on these? I forgot it was the water tendril. Uh, so the damage is 3d6 plus four for uh, these attacks. All right, so the first one, uh, 13 without reduction. And the second one, ooh, nice, 17 without reduction. And it does not have resistance to the cold damage here. So what was the total? 13 and what? 13 and 17, so 30 altogether. So that is 30 damage. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Flockoban gargles otherworldly uh, his displeasure at continuing to do your bidding. And you all kind of hear that... Rude. Their brains. Yep. Yep. And uh, next up is uh, the hippo. <laughs> uh, it is not happy about having an orc on his, or a frog, or whatever that is, on Who his knows? head, hitting it with a big <laughs> hammer. Um, but I actually think the thing that did the most damage to it, I'm going to randomize where it's going, because the thing that did the most damage to it was the demon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll a d6 here. It has a ranged option... So I'm gonna. It's gonna do um, uh, one or two. It's Ugna. Three. It's Fetid. Four. It's uh, Tromlin. Uh, five. Six. Demon. It's Flockwaba. Or did Copernicus do damage to it too? I did six damage. Well, oh, you did. A, you did a mine. You, you you didn't do obvious damage to it. Ugna. It's going after. All right. Ugna. Good. Good. Yeah, right. Sense. It's gonna try and. I'm on its, its head. Yeah, you're on its head, yeah. and it's just going to like whirl its he its head around with its giant tusks and slash at you with its gnawing maw. Its gnaw maw. It's a gnawer. It's going to use its gnaw maw, because it is a big mouth gnawer. That's mm -hmm. what they call it. Um, so this is a combination of a bite and grapple. Uh, your armor class is what? Uh, 17. It has successfully hitted you. Right. I'm going to get chomped. Or some chompifying. So that is 1d8 plus 3. That's 7. Plus another 2d4 from the gnawing. Which Brief is aside, another one of my six. birds has completely locked up. Mary is like in this weird hunkered position. It has not moved for like 10 minutes. It's very cute. In my mode. <laughs> blue screen. Yep. Yep. Blue, blue screen of bird. Yep. Uh, so that would be a total of uh, 13 damage. Gotcha. But you are now grappled in its yes. mouth and it will continue to try and. Guess what, though? I'm strong. Round. I'm strong and yes, I got a knife in my hand. You're going to have to try and. Well, that's the thing. You could stab it with a knife or you could try and break out the grapple. Yeah, yeah. You're not pinned, you're just grappled. No. Right? In other words, you're in its mouth and it's now chewing on you. 
Uh, and it is Copernicus's turn. Um, we did it out of order last time, but now we're okay, right. Well, I don't think it's going to try and do the breath thing while it's gnawing Ugna. So I'm going to give up that plan. I have, I have uh, uh, smartly stuffed myself down its throat so it can't do that. Um, oh, yeah, Ugna's like this one arm sticking out of the mouth going, hey. no. I'm thinking um, I might try and um, do something agonizing. Like doing an agonizing, like do a bit of blood goosing here. Because uh, if I could stun it, I feel like that's going to help um, Ugna. And then I'll add a distracting intrusion as well to increase the uh, chances of things working. Alright, so yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take um, five damage and I will do agonizing uh, to make a chill touch agonizing. Excellent. Um, hang on a second. I do believe distracting intrusion gives it disadvantage on saving throw, right? Yeah. It already has that. Oh, I guess uh, it would well, extend it. Uh, no, no, sorry. Yeah, distracting intrusion will give it distraction, disadvantage on attacks and saves. And oh, and attacks as well. Yeah, I guess that's so, right. Oh, yeah. So I'll, actually, I'll open with distracting intrusion because I may as well give myself the best chance. Well, and uh, in which case, it makes a wisdom save, but it does it with disadvantage because of the uh, your yay. previous effects that give it disadvantage nice. on its next saving throw. Yay. Or no, sorry, it's not disadvantage. It's minus a d4. So roll, roll me a d4. So I know how much it's penalized by. Three. That'll do it. Uh, I think with its bonus, it would have made the DC 15, but it definitely doesn't now. Uh, Yay! So Suck it. You fill its mind with horrible sounds and <laughs> chanting from the void. I'm uh, making it imagine... Sorry? Dragon. It's distracting. Yeah. This poor animal is just like taking a nap and all of a sudden it's in combat. All of a sudden demons. We needed a yeah. bridge made yep. out of its blood. It's invasive. We're just, we're just doing pest control at this point. Yeah. Its like babies it are down there going, Mama? Mm -hmm. Mama? Oh, no. I oh, like man. I would love to have a pet of, um... one of these things. Are you kidding? It'd be great. Yeah, blood, too. I would like its visions to be a frog surfing on waves of its blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want it to see dancing in its head. Which will happen um, if we are crossing the river on the boat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and now uh, I'll do the um, agonizing... Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, the chill touch. Which yeah. Is that a hit roll or hit attack roll? I don't remember. Uh, chill touch is attack, yeah. At yeah. a plus okay. eight. So roll your attack roll. Uh, 23. That'll do it. And your damage is 2d8. <laughs> Yeah, plus uh, 2d8 plus 1 plus 4 for the agonizing and then have. Uh, you don't get the plus 1 because that was from your magic dagger. Uh, mm. Oh, no. I've got a magic okay. dagger. So then 8 plus 4 is uh, 12 and then half is 6. Uh, no, that t it is not resistant to that necrotic damage. Oh, sweet. Nice. Okay. So it then, takes yeah, the 12. Um, full 12 and then it makes um, the DC... The, the con it just makes a con save. Uh, oh, this to, is for the stun, or, right? Yeah, for the stun. Yeah. And the con is at a disadvantage. exceeded in that saving throw. Disadvantage. Uh, right. Wow. I rolled a nat 20, so that may have been wasted because it's disadvantage. I'm definitely not going to roll a second nat. <laughs> I'm definitely going to roll a second nat 20. Oh what? my god, what? Fucking waste. What? All right. Happens, it's, man. I just rolled two nat twenties. All right, man, this, this man, is this a lot That is the best oh. roll I'm going to make in the entire campaign <laughs> for That's very for little stupid actual. Yeah, yeah. For, very for the thing we did instead purpose. of going to the crossing. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we should flash the gif. Finding around. a boat rental. Why <laughs> cross a river when you can cross a hippo? <laughs> <laughs> Are we that the old, baddies? That old chestnut. I, that's all. I mean, we've summoned a demon. Hey, Ugna. Yeah. To kill her. It's your turn. Hey. You're being chewed on by a giant hippo, yep. manatee, crocodile thing. Ugna knows that like it would be really badass to grab this thing's jaw and force it open and jump out. But she's also just been thrown a magical dagger from Perny and been told to draw blood. So I think I'm going to let it chomp on me for another <laughs> round. And like, if you do the lifting thing, you can stab up into the. That's true. Yeah. Can I can I like it. free myself and then do the attack? 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've got two actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, obviously you could also do two actions to stab it twice. I like, could. There's, a, and there's a lot of things. I, I think in Ugna's mind, though, like, she's inside its mouth. It's got to be softer in here. I think yeah. I'm just stabbing it in the roof of the mouth. Like, as I'm in you're, there, I'm just like, stab, stab. Yep. You're totally draxing it from... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, mm-hmm. where you're... I must get inside. I'm also just thinking of, like, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's okay. being chomped on by a roll. crocodile and he's just stabbing it with a knife. Stabby, stabby. I'm doing two two stabbers, so... We'll do the first one. I don't get my plus eight because this is not my my sword. Um, but I still uh, it get... It is still a plus one magic weapon. Okay. I think... So it's the same, same roll. Okay. I think both of these hit then because I did a... 10 and a 12, which would be a uh, 18 and a 20. Yep, 18 will do it. Sweet. I, I believe, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to use strength with a dagger. It's just you can use dex. So. Yeah. Yeah. So if, go you're, for if you're willing to allow it, I'll take it. No, I'm pretty positive that's how it works. I think finesse okay. weapons, you're allowed to use dex. It's just you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm so gonna to burn my uh, to be dex. remaining... Um, Superior point on that. So one of the attacks gets the additional d8. Stab it in the face or in the mouth or whatever. Soft palate. Soft palate. What damage uh, plus is this? Is dagger? Is it plus one dagger? Plus one. Okay. Yeah. So I don't it get does, my normal. No, it does a. Uh, where is it here? It does a d4. No, it does a d6, because it's basically a short sword. Gotcha. So I do not get my d10, but I do get a d6. Four, that is uh, plus one damage, was yep. 11. And the second time around, I only get the d6. So that is a five damage. Not as great, but very cinematic. <laughs> All right, wait. What was that? You only got the six. Why? Um, I spent. I only had one superiority dice left, so I spent the d8 on the sure, first but you attack. you still get your strength bonus on your attack. Oh shit! Right. So that is an eight. So a d6 and... plus a total of what is your strength bonus? Five. So seven. Seven. No, six. Five plus one. Yeah. Plus the d6 roll. Right. So your first hit was how much damage? I believe the first one was a ten. Plus that the. That was to hit. Yeah. No, I rolled a, a six and a four. Oh, because you rolled the, the extra die. Yeah. Okay, so ten, so plus six, sixteen damage, and then the second yeah. hit? I don't remember what I rolled for the second hit. I think it was a four? I think, I think it added up to a five, and then yeah. you would have add, added your strength bonus to that. Yeah. And it was six, but you should have added six. Yeah. So it should be, it should be 11. 12, 11. Yeah. Okay. This thing is very much bloodied now. Does it still get its resistance uh, inside oh, its mouth? great. Uh, it does not resistance not affect magic weapon. That was the oh, whole reason right. why you were thrown that. Weapon. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Every so weapon's can... a magic weapon if you get it inside a hippo's mouth. It's true. <laughs> I'm still like in uh, like half inside this thing, just standing yeah, for all. Yeah, still more. being chewed on. Yes, I can take um, it for another round or two, no problem. Fetid, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to continue to pour arrows into this thing. Zay. One will miss. Arrow number two, two will just barely hit. Huzzah! So, success. Another ten damage, so five damage. A little bit more blood in the water. Yep. I'm sorry, what was the total damage? Uh, ten before having. Hey. Math. Okay, I did it. I mathed. Successfully. Next up is Tromlin. And Bolt. Got that Bolt. So, um, I would like to spend, uh, a point in inspiration yeah so otherwise i just fumbled with a guiding bolt Ooh. Oh dear. 
And uh, I don't want to do that while my best friend is in this thing's mouth. Seems wise. Yeah. Seems like a good plan. Uh, that's a little bit better. Um, that'd be a dirty 20. A dirty 20 is a hit. All right. Damage, please. Not resistant. Excellent. And he now glows, and the demon will get advantage on attack. Well, that's good, because the demon is up next. So I will roll an attack with advantage. Well, that means that this one uh, 9 is ignored, and this one nat 20 is used instead. Yay! The, uh, the demon should get his uh, escape the mind control thing. Oh, right. Just to right. keep on mauling. Yeah, I guess I will roll that just and in case. So. Oh, disadvantage. I was like, oh, he's going to make it. Oh, he didn't. Oh, so close. I keep forgetting. Disadvantage because of your uh, your thing. I have to uh, give orders on my turn, right? To the demon? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have to, like, basically verbally give it orders. Um, it is going to... God, I think its best chance for damage is to continue doing the trend, tendril attack. So it's going to do it again. I'm going to roll them both together, because it's just faster. I forgot advantage. First attack. No, I already rolled it with advantage, and I got okay, an right. 20. Oh, that's right, Dom. Sorry. Um, this is the second attack that I'm rolling now, uh, which does not have advantage. Um, but I rolled an 18 total, which will hit just... So damage on the first attack has to be doubled. Uh, I'll get you to, to roll the damage for me. I forgot I was getting you guys to roll the attacks too, but I'll, I'll keep them. I'll be nice. Uh, so it's 2d8 plus... Uh, no, 3d6. This is the first attack. 3d6 plus 4. Okay, it's and, 12. And then we double it because it was a crit. So 24. Yeah. And then the second one is also 3d6 plus 4. Uh, 8, 12, 16 Three. on the second one. Nice. Yeah, high, high damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, a shredding of ice particles move through its body. It's like not looking real hot. Um, and it's its turn. It is very, very upset about all of this. I was uh, napping! <laughs> it, it really you were alive. Was happening. Man, Meg is like really right by the camera. camera. <laughs> what is this camera? I don't like it. Don't like it. Um, so uh, this is going to involve a gnawing on Ugna, which is automatic. So you will take an additional six damage. I can do that. From continued uh, gnawing. I got and gnawed. a tail slap is being whirled around to hit the demon uh, for 10 damage. Uh, yes, and that's it. I don't think that gives it another saving throw. I don't think taking damage. I think it's just once per turn. So, Ugna, you're up next. This thing is looking like basically done. Cool. Let's. I, I realize I have five spirit points, not four, so I have one left. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. Two stabs right in the face. Right in the meaty, soft palate. I mean, this is a... You can basically... You know this is going to be your finishing move, so... Yep, yep. You can do what you want. You don't have to stab it. You can do whatever you want. Whew. All right. In fact, why don't you just get, roll a die and then give me some flavor? Sure. I, <laughs> I rolled another 10. I'm like that's just another, that's barely hit. hitting this thing. Hit. So you're going to take it out. So how yeah. do you want to take it out? Yeah, yeah. So I've been like... Like, my head and shoulder are in this thing, and my legs are out and flailing. And you, all you see is just, like, flailing legs, flailing legs. And then all of a sudden, the knife comes up through the top of this thing's mouth. Uh, and then <laughs> pulls forward, and Ugna sticks her head out, like, covered in gore and blood. And just gives you all the thumbs up. I got it! I, I did it! You did. <laughs> and it is going to collapse. <laughs> Uh, so I what are you? What are you gonna do? Demon. Yeah, what are you gonna do with Flockwaban now? Um, I'm gonna. I would like to ask Flockwaban 
I kind of want to ask him for one round to like gather all the blood using the water shaping powers for us so that we get it all in one place. Yeah. But I feel like can I can that. probably do that with blood crafting, can I? Yeah. Eh, yeah, but you probably want him to haul the body out of the water anyway. That's oh, true. I think, uh, oh, yeah, we did lose our porters and mules. At okay. Yeah, okay. all right. I'll, I'll, say, I'll have him haul it out, and then I'll have him run as far and as fast as he can away. Um, okay. uh, so so his, saving, his saving throw for, the, for that round is yeah. failed. So yeah. he does that for you. He pulls the body yeah. out of the water. This old thing of like just infinite eyes and tentacles, like pulls the crazy hippo beast out of the water, hisses just awfully. It burns your ears and eyes. Uh, and then uh, Copernicus says, flee as far and fast as you can and points up river. And uh, with another baleful hiss, Flockabine heads up, and I'm going to start rolling really saving throws. How many rounds? <laughs> What's your maximum um, duration? I forget. I think it's like an hour, but at some point he gets the thing, and then it stays around for a d6 yep. round after it controls. So block. basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if like yeah, he still hasn't made a save. There we go. He made it. Okay, so it took it takes him like six rounds before he makes a saving throw. Nice. So I'm gonna roll for how many rounds? Does he have enough rounds to get back to you? No. Maximum six. I, I rolled say. two. Okay. So he like just goes upstream. Like there, there's a, like like the water in the river is like shooting out the sides. Have you ever seen one of those like videos of like a truck going through a, a culvert uh, and the water just like spraying out on both sides? That's that's what's happening here. Um, as Flockwoodbine like rockets upstream. Um, till just out of sight uh, and then you see the water roiling up there for a few moments and then it stops and then the horrible noises in the air end <laughs> and it's all quiet and you're just there with the giant fucking carcass of this thing and we're going to end there because we're over time and I know Jeff's got to go because it's uh, past Late. his bedtime yep. I got to put baby to bed yeah but uh, right. I just figured we'd finish the combat off. Yeah. Right? Not have yeah. to start in the middle of something. So thank you, everybody, for coming. This ridiculous combat that has occurred. <laughs> it was a very practical decision that we made. Yes, good. Yes. Good, good job. Because now, now you can make a boat out of the blood of a giant hippo yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of Ugna. And yeah. a little bit Which, of me. And some of Ugna's blood, great. too. Who knows? Can you even tell the difference? I definitely want to feed a little bit of it to uh, Trey. Just, you, you know, can, give him some good monster. You can, your blood can be the power. power. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, do you want a real quick roll a d20, Lane? Yes, I shall. And I will. Uh, I rolled a six. Cat Alphos. Cat Alphos, you are the lucky winner of the next sketch card. Hey. Uh, we will be playing again in two weeks. Uh, same uh, bat time i don't know why it's a bad same same ridiculous <laughs> combat on. time yep same trash time same trash so channel yep yeah. same trash time same trash channel exactly uh and uh for shout outs we'll let jeff go first if he has anything to shout out and then he can i have can nothing to shout out, out whatsoever nothing to report <laughs> excellent and uh i know alina wants to at least mention con tomorrow Oh yeah, I'll be at uh, VanCaf tomorrow if any of you are in the Vancouver area. Uh, it's going to be at the Roundhouse Center. It's free to attend. It's going to be lots of rad cartoonists, so come check us out. Yay, cartoonists. Uh, and I don't think we have anything else in particular. Please check out, as always, all the links, Patreons, yeah. and so forth. All the info is in the doobly-doo below. Uh, and uh, thank you all for coming and enjoying another steaming helping of trash. Here Yay, you all. Bye. Bye.